Wow, another video for algebra and honors. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, there's four uh, formulas we focused on that we're going to go over today. Um, slope is another formula you should know, but it's not on the final per se. Um, and then don't forget, I will be putting more videos out up until tomorrow night. So like my Algebra 1, you need to remember systems, so we're going to review that. And then my uh, honors, uh, we will uh, do some trig, uh, but I just didn't feel like doing that today. Maybe some stats. But anyways, uh, solve by quadratic formula, you have to know the quadratic formula. Let me sing it to you. Here is negative b. Here is negative b. Plus or minus square root. Plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, b squared minus 4ac, alpha to a. Hey, there we go. So negative b, b is the number in front of x, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 49, minus 4ac. 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. All over 2, 8. Now notice it's all over. I don't know why my algebra kids are stopping right here. And I'm going to take points out for that. Uh, but about 2, A. A is 2, so it would be 4. Now, since we do not have any squares represented inside the square root, we are done. Now, my algebra students will remember that this is positive, so the discriminant's 41, meaning there's two real roots. Midpoint. Midpoint should be one of the easier formulas. You add the x's, divide by 2, add the y's, divide by 2. <clears throat> wow, I don't know what's going on this morning. So add the x's. That would be 9 divided by 2. Now, if you want to put 4 and a half, 4.5, that's fine. Negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2, which if you notice, that's right between those two numbers. That's what a midpoint is. Now, distance is the one most people forget. It's the square root of the difference of the axis. Now, this is a subscript, not a power. This just means these are two different numbers from two different ordered pairs, plus the different y numbers squared. So we would have the square root of uh, 6 minus 3. Now, order doesn't matter with the distance formula, and 10 minus 5. So 6 minus 3 is 3, squared is 9, plus 10 minus 5 is 5, squared is 25, so it's the square root of 34. Oh my goodness. Square root of 34, sorry about that. So, um, now notice square root of 36 is right above it, and that's 6. So this has to be between 5 and 6. Now this one. Uh, if it's a right triangle, most of the time you're going to use Pythagoras. So, um, uh, it's a squared. Let's put it right here. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, uh, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. Now, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. If you add them, you get 25. Now you square root. Now normally when you square root, this would be plus or minus 5, except when it's representing a distance. So it would just be 5. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. <coughs> Excuse me. So, ooh, earthquake, earthquake. Ah. So let's see what we got. Uh, 7 squared plus b squared equals eight, 9 squared. So 49 plus b squared equals 81. Then 49, 81 minus the 49 to get the b squared by itself would be 32. 
<coughs> so if you square root both sides, again, it's not plus or minus because this is a distance. Now, I do believe 32 is 16 times 2. So it would be 16, 2. So it would be 4 square root of 2. Well, kids, like I said, I plan to make a few more videos uh, tonight or tomorrow, something like that. Uh, ugh. So we'll see how it goes. I am done for now. Ooh, look, fake wood table. I like it.